Guys, do you like the fact that I'm uh, wearing a really nice top with my tracksuit pants down the bottom? Just YouTube thing. Good morning friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited because I am finally doing another vegan taste test. Now all of this stuff I got from my local supermarket which is Coles and I live in the western suburbs of Melbourne so especially like two years ago when I first went vegan there wasn't a whole variety of vegan stuff but now there is and it's really awesome to see supermarket chains bringing in vegan options. Now obviously it is super easy to shop at a grocery store as a vegan because there is endless amounts of fruits and vegetables and grains and all of this sort of stuff, but we're focusing on processed food today, friends, because that is what I'm here for. Today, I just wanted to show you guys some products that, first of all, a lot of them I haven't tried before, and second of all, are really delicious. Some of them are really good for on the go and just to snack on and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, that is the focus for today. Anyway, okay, PR jokey. What are we gonna start with? Today? So the first thing we're trying today is this XO Crunch. And my goodness, have I been absolutely dying to try this. Do you see that? Or health star rating, which means this is basically a health food. Eat well today. Feel better tomorrow. That is why I had a green juice for breakfast this morning, friends. Mmm, smells so good. We are having some macadamia milk with our XO Crunch today. Mmm, yum. This stuff is ridiculously good and I feel would be ridiculously addictive. Honestly, I feel like it would be even better with like hazelnut milk and they're gluten free. There you go, gluten free flour mix. Cane sugar. I swear every time that I'm like really enjoying the food, I'm like, mm, better check what the ingredients are. Always, always cane sugar is one of the first two ingredients. Okay, so next we are trying these barbecue Pringles. So here's the thing. I have never really been into barbecue flavored things. Pre-vegan, never ate like barbecue chips at like kids' birthday parties. None of that kind of stuff. And then my boyfriend introduced me to barbecue sauce. I feel like barbecue sauce has like changed my life basically. Today we are trying the barbecue flavored Pringles and I have tried the salt and vinegar flavored Pringles and I love them and I have tried the plain Pringles and I also love them but I've never tried these before and these ones, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if this is in focus, but it says they're vegan. My god they smell so good. I can't figure out what it is they smell like though. These smell so much better than they taste. The verdict is, I would definitely always choose the salt and vinegar flavor over the barbecue flavor, but if you don't like salt and vinegar, this is a great option. I don't know, it's like I like them, but I don't like them. It's like when you're in high school and you have a crush on a boy and he treats you like absolute shit, but you keep going back for more. That's a barbecue Pringle. This has a four health star rating as well. This may as well be a Whole Foods haul. Now we are trying the so good almond milk dark chocolate. I feel like I tried this or maybe the vanilla one. I can't remember. Mm, I've definitely had this before. It's good. It is really good. I don't think I would buy this again unless I was on like a road trip and I wanted something or I was craving chocolate or something on the road. Then I would get it. But I think this is a really good idea maybe for people who like go to uni or whatever or go to school and want to be able to drink something in class. Are you allowed to do that? I don't even know. And I think it's a really good idea by sanitarium so good congrats on uh making a really good product that's all i have to say let's now. try these smoky spicy barbecue chips now fun fact for you i'm pretty sure that majority of the mission chips are vegan don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure like the chili and lime ones the white corn ones just not the cheese ones everything but the cheese. Honestly, I don't really know why I got these because I can't tolerate any kind of spice, but YOLO. Oh, they smell really yummy. Yum. <laughs> They're definitely spicy. These remind me so much of like Doritos. Classic CC's slash Doritos nacho flavor. These remind me so much of them, but they've just got like a little bit of an after. Like, what is it? You know when it's like spicy afterwards? 
don't know what you call that. Okay, if you live in Australia, please can you try these because they're so yummy. I feel like they'd even be really good with like just dipping in some guac or dipping in some hummus or something like that. Something really light that would like freshen it up and not make the spice so bad. Alrighty, so next we have this Kingland yogurt. Now, I think you guys might know or you might have seen me try this before. I really, really love this stuff. To be totally transparent, I got sent this from Kingland. But that's not the reason that it's in this video. The reason it's in this video is because you can get it from Coles. And I haven't tried this flavor yet. So I have tried all the flavors bar the apple and cinnamon because I'm not big on cinnamon. And every single one of them I have really, really loved. I was not a big yogurt person before I went vegan, but I have really fallen in love with this product. So yeah. I feel like I don't even like I feel like I don't even really need to talk about getting scent stuff and stuff like that, but I only like accept stuff if it is a product that I know that I will love and that I actually want to. Share, oh my god, it smells so good. So my favorite flavor of the Kingland one so far has been the passion fruit one. I love passion fruit so much. I have a passion fruit vine growing in my backyard right now. I literally can just like eat this. My favorite way to eat this isn't even on top of my oats. I like just having it in a bowl with some strawberries, so. Mm. Oh my god, there's actually chunks of fruit in it, that's so good. Okay, so I think that this is definitely my second favorite flavor. My number one flavor is still definitely passion fruit, but this is really really good so they're definitely the two flavors i would recommend trying out as i said i promise i would not recommend this if i didn't actually recommend it that's not my style so alrighty so next we have these which are fries rice protein and chia nuggets i am absolutely terrified to try these because i don't like mock meat most of the time although i'm really really into like pulled jackfruit at the moment anyway i literally only cooked one because I don't want to not like it and then be wasteful. If I don't cook it, someone else in my house will eat it. Eventually. Who knows, maybe I'll really like this, but it already smells really meaty. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give this a go. I honestly hate that I'm such a fussy eater. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is so scary. I don't even want to like this. Oh my god, no. It tastes so much like me. This product will be absolutely amazing for people who really miss chicken nuggets. And for people who really liked the taste of chicken before they went vegan and who don't get scared with mock meat products. Personally, I just like can't. If something resembles mock meat, it just reminds me of meat. and. I haven't eaten meat since I was so, so young that this just literally scares me of how simple, like, I cannot believe how much that looks like chicken. Okay, I don't know if this is in focus, but it's too hard to get it to work. But doesn't that just look so much like chicken? It is literally so scary. Honestly, props to fries because these legit creeps me out so much like i can't these just must be so amazing for people who actually like miss the taste of meat and still don't want to contribute to the cruelty like we aspire to do no harm choose plant proteins choose kindness this is so cool so amazing why the hell would you want to eat animal products when you can literally just eat friggin rice protein and chia nuggets instead that it tastes the exact same i don't know i don't know i feel like <laughs> okay i feel like i've literally saved the best to last because <sighs> you have no idea how excited i was when i saw these these are called donkeys and they're vanilla biscuits with a yummy chalk hazelnut dip if you know me you know, chalk hazelnut is my favorite flavor. The only thing missing on the Australian vegan market is an actual, legit, inexpensive vegan chalk hazelnut Nutella style spread. I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure these are meant to be like Dunkaroos. I don't think I even had Dunkaroos when I was a kid, but oh my goodness. I am, I am so excited. Oh my God, there's six packs as well. 
only get to eat these for six days in a row. Oh. Oh. Right off the bat, my number one request for leader or leather. Please can you bring out this chalk hazelnut dip like in a jar and I promise you that vegans will go crazy for it. Just as I imagined, I'd rather just have this. So this gets all right, but if you haven't eaten a chalk hazelnut spread with your fingers or a spoon before, you have to be lying. This might be the best day ever. I feel so like warm and fuzzy inside. I have a clue. The last product we have is this drinking chocolate. I'm not gonna try it today because I've tried it a million times before and I'm all chocolated out. I wanted to let you guys know in case you don't know, Cadbury drinking chocolate is vegan. It's really delicious. It probably has heaps of cane sugar. First ingredient is sugar, but not cane sugar. So <laughs> anyway, guys, that's that's all of the food that I have to taste test today. I think my favorite things are definitely the chalk hazelnut dip from in here and these spicy barbecue chips are lit. And also that cereal is, honestly a lot of this was just really good. And like I said earlier, it is so easy to eat a whole foods plant-based vegan diet just basically on fruits and vegetables and rice and grains and beans and all of these very inexpensive things that you can get from any supermarket but it is so awesome and the reason i want to make this video is because it's it's ridiculous and amazing and awesome the fact that especially in melbourne there is such a demand for vegan products and it just goes to show that like the more and more veganism becomes more popular the more vegans there are the more products that are going to be easily accessible to us on our supermarket shelves and hopefully there'll be a vegan aisle one day i mean maybe even like fully vegan supermarkets maybe a fully vegan world We'll get there one day, my friends. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. As always, I hope you have a beautiful day or night or whatever you're doing. I hope it's as wonderful as you are. And I'll see you guys really soon for another video. Have a good one. Bye. Ooh.